On the property show, we not only bring you the big trends in India's real estate to help you make more informed decisions, we also put the spotlight on stuck housing projects where buyers have put their life savings, but their money has been siphoned off and there's no sight of a completed home. Lord Shubkamna in Sector 79 Noida is one such project and take a look at what happened to them. One promoter out on bail, the other absconding. Glaring lapses by the Noida authority. Endless consumer court cases and RTIs. Yet, nine years later, the 650 home buyers of a RERA registered project, Shubkamna Lords, in Sector 79 Noida, have no sight of their homes. I invested uh, my entire career's saving into this project. It's been nine years uh, and we have we, we are seeing no light at the end of the tunnel. I was uh, very skeptical in the beginning, you know, because I not heard the name of the builder and everything. And the property was brokered, you know, by Endable uh, Housing Finance. And they assured me that they are underwriting the project and they will ensure that the project is completed and I'll get my delivery. You know, the promoter is gone, he's vanished, he's absconding, I don't know where he is. The Northern Authority says they can't do anything because there is outstanding. And they cancel the land in 2015, they don't declare it. And the builder keep on basically asking money from the buyers till 2018. You have RERA basically coming into and getting, you know, the restoration done in 2017. So you have the RERA, the Noida Authority, you have brokers like India Bulls. So it's an institutionalized corruption. In the last five years, these badly stuck home buyers have not received a single answer to their rightful questions. Why did the authority not forfeit the land if they cancelled the lease way back in 2015? Why did Uttar Pradesh RERA allow the registration of this project, enabling the company Shubkamna Advert to continue to collect money from home buyers till the year 2018 if the land lease was cancelled? May I ask Noida Authority as to what right do they have when 650 home buyers have built their houses and without their consent when a third party charge has been created, how have they cancelled the land? If they have cancelled the land, how did RERA registration in 2017 take place? How did construction of this commercial project take place? This commercial project is 2016 onwards. When the land is cancelled, they are supposed to take over, put a board over here, put a notice, send a notice to home buyers. They have never sent this. Another unanswered question is this sordid tale. Why did the Noida authority refuse to act on the buyer's plea and hide information of cancelling the land lease from them? We approached Noida authority on 10th of May 2016. We submitted a memorandum to Noida authority CEO asking for a meeting. Noida authority CEO got this project inspected and then assured that he will call a meeting with us in, within three days. He called a meeting on 13th of May 2016 itself, we appeared there. Then we submitted balance sheet of this company to Noda 30, the audited balance of this company, in which this company has taken 158 crore rupees from us, and out of that 110 crore rupees have been diverted. As per clause 335 of the lease deed, Noda 30 has to monitor implementation of this project. The lapses on the part of institutions meant to protect home buyers have been nothing less than a nightmare for the Shubh Kamana Lords home buyers who have invested more than 170 crore of their life savings collectively in the project. Because of these stupid things like uh, Noida, th this builder uh, um, uh, back out, uh, like my husband suffered uh, from brain hemorrhage and mother of three housemaker and then it's really hard. It's like very difficult for us to survive. The Home Buyers Association has submitted a plea at NCLT or the Insolvency Court to be allowed to take over the project and complete its construction. And shockingly, it is Noida Authority which is now putting a spanner in the works demanding home buyers to clear the lease rent dues. If the money paid by home buyers has been siphoned by the builder, the question is why should home buyers be penalized? The big question we are asking now is, can the buyers hope to get a resolution and get completed homes? Uh, Aditya Nair joins us. He's the advocate uh, in this case. And also we also have with us Manish Kambhir. Uh, Manish, what are you hoping for? Your case is at NCLT. What are you hoping for now? Ma'am, we have fought this and we are distressed. We need our homes and Noida Authority is responsible for this. This mess has been created by Noida Authority 
along with connivance of its officers and builders to help these builders out. Noida authority gives us our home, court gives us our home, or else we are on roads. But we Noida need authority our home. is demanding more money for it. Can you tell us what's going on? Why should Noida authority demand the money for? Let them go and take this money from the builder who has siphoned 180 crores from home buyers. Was Noida authority sleeping? Aditya, what is the local standby currently at NCLT? I believe the home buyers want to take over the project and complete it, but there is a problem and it is Noida authority which is saying that you can't take over. Is that is that a correct understanding? I would say yes. In 2019, home buyers have submitted their resolution plan. That plan was accepted by the committee of creditors and thereafter it was submitted to the court. Once the plan was submitted, Noida authority comes up and they say that the land on which the project was there has been cancelled by Noida authority way back in 2015. Wherein they have not given any documents for that. But still, nonetheless, whatever they say, we agree to that. In fact, the court was also of the opinion that how come they cancelled the project at the fag end and they directed Noida authority to reconsider their decision and sit and talk with the home buyer and see if they could come out with some solution. And what I have I've got to do lately is Noida Authority is asking for another 140 week something crores to give land back to home buyers so that home buyers could invest another 200, 300 crores to develop the entire project. All right. Aditya, as a home buyer, what is it? Give me a short answer on three things that you want as home buyers to complete, get your completed projects. Home buyers have joined hands together. They are ready to invest the amount whatever it takes to get their houses back. But it is only the hurdle which has been by Noida authority. And now it is the court to decide. Basically, we have also seen from the past what the court has said. The court is very clear that home buyers cannot be put at distress. Manish, can you tell me then, literally the ball is in the court of Noida authority. They they, if they give up their claim of that 140 crore rupees, then you, you already have the court in your favor saying that yes, the home buyers do have a right on this land, do have the right to complete this project. Yes, ma'am, we, we are ready for it. But why? I, my question to Noida authority is aren't you seeing these 650 home buyers who are dying every day for their houses? Aren't you seeing the people who have, you know, got killed in this period and you are asking for this 140 crores? Shame on you, Noida authority. And shame on you, the entire administration, who is at stick to take away buyers' lifetime savings. Disgrace to these people. Aditya, legally, how strong is the home buyer's case? If you can just give me your final answer on that. Legally, they are very strong. We have seen from the past, there have been instances with respect to JP, with, res with respect to Amrapali, wherein the court have decided in favor of home buyers. So looking into the precedent which has been decided by the Supreme Court in previous cases, I would say that home buyers are on a much better footing. All right. So you're saying that the home buyers are in a better footing. Well, I'm going to sign off, gentlemen, by thanking both of you for coming here and explaining what the story is. I mean, this is probably one of the most bizarre cases I've seen where a piece of land supposedly cancelled in 2015, the project was still allowed to be registered under RERA. So, lots of unanswered questions here. All the power to home buyers. Hope their fight continues and they get a quick resolution to their project and their problems. Thank you so much for watching.